Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 4 of my FIFA 16 Hull City career mode. As you can see today we start off in a game against Leicester City with the champions of the season of life. See we work it into the box well and Makani is able to thread it underneath the goalkeeper to make it 1-0 to Hull. So a really good start for us. Um, as it was really well worked into the box and side footed it just past the goalkeeper. Then you can see Lester come forward here with Daniel and Marty. He um, somehow gets there over that Michael Dawson and it goes out for a goal no kick. But uh, here I aim for the right back. It decides to pass it straight to Jamie Vardy. First time finishes it oh, past my keeper and makes it 1-1. One, one. I'm disappointed in that. I did yeah, aim for a moment, right back, but for some bar, reason it just didn't want to. And you can see the they come forward again. Albrighton picks it up oh, down the left-hand side, whips it's it in, and Amardi, I think it was, heads it in to make it 2-1 to Leicester City. Um, once again, disappointing defending in my opinion as they're able to just play it out wide and easily get a ball well, into the box. That. On his left side, um, so like I say, well, very good. Well, and he could side probably really do better, go for the ball or the dive. And just, you, you can see Maloney comes inside, this side, passes it oh, through to Jake Livermore, tries to take a shot, Where's and it's pulled it's down, down and a penalty is given. That really should have been a red card for Wes Morgan. Look at this. Jake Livermore about to shoot. He could have scored, but it wasn't given. Bacani stepped up and scored his second goal of the game. Penalty spot. And that, but then you can see they come forward and win a penalty themselves. As Michael Dawson pulls down their player, Jamie Vardy. Vardy will then step up. To, going to be a in an attempt to score his second goal of the game against David Marshall. Vardy steps up, Good Marshall penalty. goes the right way, but it's scored into the top left-hand corner to make it 3-2 no, to Leicester. And you can see they come forward again. Danny Simpson gives it to Akazaki. He gives it to Vardy. The first time hits a shot like that, the keeper had no chance. And that was an unbelievable strike from Jamie Vardy. And it's just such a good strike and he got a hat trick he was unplayable on well, the day i know the his the first two probably could have been stopped trick. but yeah. and, uh, be i think we came against a uh, side yeah, that definitely. played well and you can see we get into the second game of this episode players. which is against burnley and a side that were also promoted with hull in real life and yeah, they they're just trying to pass it around the back getting it long here and they try to come down George Boyd, him and Flanagan play it through passes It's then played it to Marnie, who the runs, oh, it's a shot, and it hits the post. It and Andrew Gray, I think, should have done better, but that was how that game finished, nil-nil. Then we came up against West Bromwich Albion. They came forward with Matt Phillips here. Gave it to Gardner, who played it back to him, threw it, let go, gave it to Craig Gardner, and who made it 1 0 to West Bromwich Albion. So, a little bit disappointed, but it was a decent bit of play in the end. Good passing between them, but probably able to avoid the pressure. Then you can see they try and come forward again through Gardner. That's a good challenge between the two. Passes it to Chadley, gives it to Burahino. He plays it back to Chadley. That header was very poor. Played back to the Chadley. Makes it 2 0 to West Bromwich Albion. And this is very disappointing in my opinion. I thought it was a very poor header there. He headed it straight back to Barahino, and it was a simple pass and finish for Asif Chadley that make it 2 1. I mean, 2 0. And you can see they're getting forward again. I put it onto all out attack. Um, they play it back to Jakob here. Gives it out to Chadley. He tries to run at our defense. Gets passed on Mohammed quite easily. Gardner, Gives it to Gardner, and a good save is made by the goalkeeper. They then come inside, try a shot, and hit the post so close to being 3 0 to West Brom. Then you can see they've got it again. We win the ball on the halfway line. Just about Robertson takes it, gives it to Dio Mande. Cuts back. 
Pull down and a penalty to Hull City. With just over 10 minutes to go, we have a chance to get back into the game. And Stefan Sessegnon against his own team. Steps up and scores into the top right hand corner. Make it 2 1 to West Brom. And you can see we come forward. Huddleston has a shot well saved by the goalkeeper. And we bring our keeper forward now. Sam Kluke is to take the corner. Whips it in. Huddleston heads it over the keeper. Curtis Davies heads in to make it 2 2. Hull City 2. West Bromwich Albion 0 with the goalkeeper forward. I wish he would be the one to head it. But a great comeback. 2 0 down about 15 minutes ago. And 2 2 draw. Then you can see we come against Manchester City. We start here with five minutes left in the game. Otto Baggio gives it to Jake Livermore. He turns, gives it in to Tom Huddleston, smashes it past the keeper and makes it 1-0 to Hull. We are 1-0 up at the Etihad had now. And we just want to see out this result. About four, three or four minutes remaining. A good put back by Livermore and a very powerful strike past the goalkeeper by Huddleston. And you can and see they so come forward, it's headed Silva. down poorly, and David Silva with the volley oh, yes. on the keeper right foot. Right yeah, I caused it there out of frustration, but with nothing I could have done. Very, very poor header by Curtis Davies, who just saved us in that last game. He should have really cleared it better. He headed it straight Golden down to David so Silva, with that kind of accuracy. who Golden put it in right. quite Take easily you know. to make it 1-1. One, one, and. I take this as three drop the points, table, uh, two drop points, but anyway, points. as or usual, we end down. the episode by looking at a squad report, points. so Shift hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did, leave a like, points. and if you want to see any more of this career mode or anything I do on FIFA 17, just subscribe if you want to, anyway, see you later.